What's going on everybody? Cartel from Hell back again for all my hardcore cartelians. This time we're going to have an unboxing of this Sideshow Collectibles Arkham Asylum Joker premium format exclusive figure. And uh, the exclusive on this uh, statue is actually a uh, thousand pieces. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into the unboxing. I know it's been a couple weeks since my last video. I've been uh, really busy, as you all know. But it's no excuse. I've actually uh, had this piece waiting for me for the past week. And I wanted to save the unboxing for you guys. So I've just been walking by this thing every day for the past week it's like oh man itching to open it but yeah it's pretty much just wanted to save it for you guys to you can see what's up with it it's really not that big of a box compared to a lot of the other statues that i've received so the box pretty much just going to match, you know, the other statue that comes from this line from Sideshow, the uh, Arkham Asylum Batman premium format figure. Give you guys a quick spin around before I crack and open it all the way. Actually the box is really nice you guys. I forgot how nice these boxes are. It's been about maybe six months since I received the last one in this series, in this line. I'm actually really digging this line too, you guys. I really love it. Um, you know, I've debated whether or not I should um, let these pieces go just because I do have so many Batman statues right now. And as we all know, you know, Prime One is coming out with their Batman pieces. So there's a lot of options for Batman fans right now, which is really great. But at the same, the same time, it makes it kind of hard to uh, decide. I guess that's a, uh, a good problem to have, right? It's better than not getting a piece ever made of a character that you really love. Go ahead and get this turntable out. It'll be a little easier for me to open this box. But yeah, you guys, I've been uh, really missing doing these videos, man. I've been really busy lately, you know, working around the house and working at work and just been trying to knock a lot of stuff out before the vacation just so it doesn't all pile up on me uh, for when I get back. You know what I mean? I'm not really into uh, having to kill myself when it comes to working around the house. I like to take it easy, handle my business. I'm sure you guys know how it is if you guys are uh, homeowners and all that. <clears throat> Pretty much always have to rely on yourself. Take this sticker off that doesn't mean anything anyways. Put it back on later. <clears throat> Alright, nothing under there. Ah, smells great. Oh man, it's been a while since I opened up a piece. Maybe about two weeks? Something like that? Maybe a little longer. Damn, going through withdrawals and shit. What's going on with that? All right, let's go ahead and get this base out of here first. Put this away for a little bit. Now I 
have seen a couple of reviews on this statue, but it's been quite a while, so kind of forget the way that it's supposed to go together, but that's all right. It can't be that hard. This actually has a really nice weight to it, and it matches the other uh, Arkham Asylum base really well, too, except for the other one doesn't have this... Um, it almost looks like a staircase railing wrapped around it. But yeah, it does have a really nice weight to it. If you guys look at the bottom of the base real quick. Nothing major. One thing I do have to say though, you guys. Um, a lot of the newer pieces, you know, or all the newer pieces, they have this like plastic label on the bottom. I really wish Sideshow would uh, do away with that and do how they used to do it with just the felt bottoms and not have to put these little four pads on the bottom because sometimes they put them in the wrong position and you know it kind of makes the statue a leaner so I wish that they would come out with those felt bottoms again bring them back let's do a retro in this map <laughs> nothing wrong with retro you guys Have his legs wrapped up all crazy. Wrapped up and taped up. Yeah, he's a really big figure all by himself. Really happy to see that he hasn't came in damaged due to uh, shipping. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of premium format on this guy. It's like basically all premium format. And if you guys know me, you guys know I'm a bigger fan of uh, you know fully sculpted pieces with maybe just like a touch of mixed media here and there. But to tell you the truth, characters like Joker, you know, characters that have a lot of clothing on. Um, you know, in the form of suits, something that's like really tailor made. Obviously, you're gonna want premium format, mixed media. You know, you're gonna want something along those lines for those type of characters. Just because it better represents the character and uh, just looks a little more realistic. But at the same time, that doesn't take my preferences away. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, this statue is actually going to, looks like it's going to take a lot of, uh, you know, finessing when it comes to posing the suit. Because it's like really stuck to the statue itself. It's going to be one of those statues that needs to breathe really quick before you really get it the way you want it. So far, you guys, from what it from what I see, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's gonna take some uh, it's gonna take some finessing for sure. Man, he's really tall. It barely even fits in the shot. That's crazy. And then. You know, sometimes throughout this video, I'm going to go ahead and pull down uh, his uh, counterpart, Batman, from the series. Just give you guys a really quick comparison, size comparison. Right. Well, they've painted his face really nicely, but you know what? At the same time, that's actually something that I really expected from this piece was them to be able to pull out the uh, the paint on the portrait really well because there's not really a lot of paint on the statue, so there's not too much they have to focus on or too much that they can mess mess up with. Let's go ahead and show you guys his regular portrait really quick. And you guys, 
I am going to be doing the 4K close-ups for the statue. I'll probably com combine the 4K close-ups with the complete review of this statue, so be sure to subscribe so you guys can be the first to uh, see that video. I used to do my 4K close-ups and my reviews in a separate video, but I think I'm just going to start adding them together and just hooking you guys up with the 4K close-ups so you guys don't have to watch one more video. Here's his exclusive portrait. And actually I really like the exclusive um, option on this statue. It's not too often where you really use the exclusive. Um, this is definitely going to be one of those cases where I'm going to opt for the exclusive on this one. I'd say maybe 60% of the time I never, I don't even use my exclusives just because they don't look as good as the regular looks with the piece or it just doesn't make sense or whatever the case may be. I mean one thing that does make it a little harder with this exclusive though is just the angle in which he's facing. So you know you're pretty much gonna have to have him kinda low or eye level to really get to appreciate this portrait a little more because he's uh just the angle at which the portrait faces. So yeah man, this is a really easy statue to put together, you guys. One, two, three, and here's the fourth piece for the statue. Now this is something I've never seen on a sideshow statue before. Um, it's like a little sticker on here, almost like a probably like the number of the person that did the QC on the piece. So let's see, let's see how the QC looks on this piece, how the paint app looks. Looks alright, doesn't look bad. Um, one thing that I do have to say though, this is kind of light for what it is. That's alright though, I mean it's not like a massive piece, you know what I mean, but it's whatever. So, Mr. QC110, you did an okay job. I'm not going to fault you. <laughs> So you could just pull the sleeve back, slip the hand in the keyhole, and then pull the sleeve back over his wrist. Dude's got some crazy cuffs, man. Yeah, the mixed media on this statue looks really cool. Like I said before, it's going to have to breathe. It's going to have to settle a little bit. You're going to have to mess with it. You're going to have to hook it up a little bit. But yeah, man. Overall, pretty cool piece. Let's go ahead and get Batman out. And set these two up together. See what's good. Dude is super lanky, you guys. Next to uh, Batman, he's going to look like a stick figure. Because Batman is actually really beefcake in this line.
Yeah, this is a pretty heavy piece right here. You know, I'm really surprised this one hasn't been uh, selling as well yet. You know, maybe people would want it to see how their Joker came out or whatever the reason. It's most likely just a lot of Batmans out right now. So yeah, man, very cool. This base on the Joker is definitely a lot smaller, but I think that's good just because he's so lanky and it'll make it a little easier to uh, display him with other statues that have a really big base. Mainly this one, obviously, just <laughs> these two are supposed to be chilling together, right? But uh, I don't know. I don't know if these will fit in a Besta. Um, most likely not. Maybe, possibly. Actually, you know what? With this smaller base, you know, I could definitely see it being a possibility. But yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys know if this fits in a Besta in the complete review. I might even put a picture in there for you guys. So we'll see what's up. So I uh, really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Really quick unboxing for this uh, Arkham Asylum Joker Premium Format exclusive statue. Um, not too much going on with it. Pretty much the same as this Batman piece too. It's really easy to assemble. Um, yeah, man, definitely be on the check on the lookout for uh, the 4K close-ups and the complete review. Till the next video, catch me if you can. Thanks for watching.